I think it's really interesting that we're released from um, speaking the words, although they're fantastic words. I think that the presence of the supernatural, um, the fact that it's always there in the play, and the fact that we are using dance as a kind of ephemeral art form um, is really interesting. And I think Mark's complete vision um, really allows, along with the fact that we don't speak, allows for that world to swirl around and kind of you know, infiltrate in a really interesting way in the theatre. I suppose actually, I mean, the, the different versions of Macbeth um, or other Shakespeare plays anyway, because it kind of has the scope to be um, interpreted in so many different ways, means that any theatre company or dance company, whoever sort of takes it on, is working with imagery. And that's why it kind of works with dance so well, is that you can actually, the imagery is so strong that you can actually tell stories without the need for the text. A world that we'll be taken into, um, a dark world, um, but but a world that has been created rather than copying something that exists. The thing that really um, is notable for me is how how awful the witches are, and I think when I was younger, there could be a real sense of comedy about the witches. Although they are really nasty, I think, you know, 14 years old looking at that play and it's, it's kind of these hags, these horrible creatures. It can be quite funny and, you know, round a cauldron is quite stereotypical. But I think the one, like, one thing that is really striking in Mark's work um, is that these creatures are not funny. They are not nice. Nobody would want to encounter them. And it's kind of how um, they kind of, you can relate to them in this really twisted way, which might scare people in a, in a sense, I think. They'll definitely go on a journey with it. I think uh, hopefully they'll take a step back and actually just absorb what is being shown to them. I think they'll kind of go through a roller coaster of emotions. It would be interesting for them just to accept something that is so well known, but in a different way. Some sense of kind of sort of visceral, you know, um, emotion that they take away with them. Um, but also just that they take away the story, because it's, it's a really important story. Um, and there's no reason why it can't be a contemporary story as well, you know, if you're politically minded. Personally, it's all about how I feel and how um, each scene is plotted with feeling and how I approach it as my character. And so uh, I guess, I'm guessing really the outside point of view. Um, I think that it will be an intense journey. Um, I don't think the audience is let off the hook at all. Um, and, but I think there's enough for them to go away and think about and make their own decisions about certain sections of what, how Mark has done his version of Macbeth. And sometimes I find myself, even at the sides, just watching a scene take place and it just draws me in and it, I'm, I'm going through what, the, what that character's feeling just because they are telling it so well and it's, it's amazing to see. So I think it's going to be quite an intense experience for the audience, but yeah, an amazing one. Intrigued, I want to, be, to wonder how we're going to do it without speaking. Um, I want them to enjoy the clarity that they find without any text. Um, and I want them to be moved um, and question the role of power, I guess and the cyclical nature of um, humans and <laughs> what they do.